Here's our very first trail walk off the property. Um, we also have been getting a lot of good trailering practice in. Um, he's very agitated this first time. Uh, he, it's, it's, it's now unusual for him to leave the spot in the trailer uh, to come out before I ask him to leave that spot. Uh, so here he's trying to get out of the trailer before me, before I say let's go. Uh, I always make a point to leave the trailer first uh, and to lead the horse out. But here he's just itching to get out. He can't wait. And when we finally do get out, he sort of sniffs and looks around because uh, the reality is that there are a couple of horses uh, that live right next to here, right next to the trailhead where we're at. So he's probably quite interested in checking them out and see what's going on. So I don't really let him linger too much and uh, off we go up the trail, which is just a um, regular trail around here. You know, it's uh, groomed, taken care of. Uh, it's a designated horse trail. So off we went for our first walk. Uh, generally, if a horse doesn't have much experience with uh, trails, then uh, we walk them first, then ride them. Uh, here he kind of ended up cutting me off and coming in front of me <clears throat> because he was just so preoccupied. As you can see, he just bumped me in the camera because uh, the camera's on my chest um, because he's just not paying attention. He's rather worried. It, it, the first trip out for him um, was obviously very new. He was quite uh, agitated and worried and looking around a lot, but he did pretty good. So we're just continuing on down this pathway <clears throat> and uh, as I am backing up from him while walking to see if I can get some video of him, I'm asking him to step away from me a little bit. Um, it's not unusual at all for a horse to try to stay as close as possible uh, for comfort. So he's not being bad or naughty or disrespectful. He's actually just trying to stay close because it makes him feel better. Um, when I ask him to step away, he he. He just starts to kind of lose it a little bit. He doesn't know what to do with himself. And he's starting to try to walk off and find safety or comfort. Or, at least that's just my opinion. So I'm just trying to keep him with me, um, but not on top of me. Because um, that's just dangerous. So once we sort of got a little bit organized there, I just continued him on. And here I stop him again. Because what I'm really looking for as we're heading away from the trailer is for him to relax and calm down and find a place where he can just stand with me. Uh, unfortunately, there were a lot of mosquitoes out that day, um, so that's pretty agitating, but um, he should be able to just stand still for that as well. Um, the other part of this, obviously, is that we're leaving the trailer, we're leaving home, and he just wants to get moving somewhere. He wants to go. Um, he's, he's not, as you can see, he's not happy right now, so... I'm just asking him to step back and stay over there a little bit. Be okay with that. When he stops moving his feet, I stop moving mine. There, I ask him to kind of step back. And he's obviously agitated, but he still takes a nibble of something. So that's a good thing. That's a good sign that he's got time enough to sit and eat a, a couple of leaves or something. But he's still pushing on me. He's still saying... You know, let's go this way. Um, his ears back, uh, everything about his body. Here he tries to get his butt towards me, which is a, a very uncomfortable position to be in because it's it's the first uh, step to possibly getting kicked. So I ask him for sure to move that away. He then tries to climb up and around me because I'm standing in the middle of the pathway. Um, once he sort of calms down, I did pet him and say, okay, that's cool. And uh, then we start heading off again. Just good practice. So we finally made it to this water uh, stream, this creek. And um, it's a very good uh, first experience because it's just a lot of round rock, small round rock. Um, there's a lot of streams, a lot of creeks and and uh, shallow rivers, I guess, that, that have much bigger rocks um, that are actually very uncomfortable and difficult to cross for horses. Uh, in this case, this would be a very, very easy crossing. Uh, when we do cross this water, 
or a water body this will probably be it because it's so shallow it's just round rocks so you know it's not painful it's not difficult to walk on um and easy to sort of maintain their balance so when i bring him to bring him to the water here i'm i'm asking him to come check it out and and walk on in it um walk through it possibly of course benny's eating he always sort of takes time out to eat um which is good again i'm not going to discourage this as much until i'm starting to ask him to do something uh, but sometimes it's good just to let them sort of nibble and 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 check things out and try things out so but you can see here him getting near the water he's pretty nervous uh, if you look closely his legs do a little bit of shaking um just just trying not to uh, get too close like right there and uh and we just say that's okay you'll make it so i just keep encouraging him i pet him uh, make sure he doesn't run me over because he does try to get close and just the same continuous stuff going on um, that we're always doing with groundwork and and trying to get him to go forward keeping in mind um, it's much easier to get a horse to go in a particular direction from the ground so if I can't get this done from the ground I don't actually think that I would safely be able to do it from the saddle uh, at least not in an efficient way not in a safe way for him or myself probably um, that we would both come out of it thinking oh that was pretty good so we work as hard as we can uh, on the ground just to, to give him some encouragement give him some confidence um, obviously he's never really been near water uh, but he did do very well with this for a horse that has never been in running water and of course he's eating again so we let him take a bite and then um, yeah, he finds a little bit of courage and dips his toe in. So it's a very good first experience so far. So as he explores a little bit further, he seems to get a little bit more confidence. I actually think Benny really likes water. He'll be one of those horses that will likely um, quite enjoy it. Uh, it'll probably feel quite good to him especially in the summertime. But right here, he completely ignores all of my direction of what he should be doing, and he comes climbing out through the bushes and uh, essentially over some small trees kind of thing and stumbles across some of these river rock to get finally back to the trail. So um, that's not a very good experience. That's not an experience I want him to uh, leave with because he completely ignored any direction that I've given him to come back to a safe spot to exit. Um, again, if you were in the saddle, you would have just been hit by branches and it would have been uncomfortable. And, and obviously he can't see his footing that he's trying to get through, whereas he could if he was on the trail. <clears throat> so here he, he does come towards me and I stop him, but then I realize that that is his way out. So I get out of, get out of his way to let him through without getting out of his way because he asked me to, um, Anyways, it worked really well. I think he had a good water experience. Now we're walking back, and he's just a different horse. Just a nice, loose lead rope. He's got his head low. He's just kind of coming forward and, and keeping up. So um, a really good experience uh, overall for him, I think, uh, that we end on. So here I ask him just to stop. So we're just practicing having a stop and having a, a stand and just hanging out. And he's looking around, which I'm good with he's not doing anything he's not moving his feet he's just kind of hanging out close so once i feel that he's pretty good we just move on